Hey guys, good morning. Miss Pepper just woke up. We're excited. We're getting ready to start cooking some breakfast for the boys. Her big brothers are all here for the next four days. Uh, her oldest brother, Jet, is in town from college, which is going to be a blast. We got all kinds of things planned. Apparently, there's a prom proposal this weekend that uh, we all get to be involved with. Are you excited about that? Huh? Are you excited? What if I told you there's going to be ducks involved? Baby ducks? She's going to love that part of it. And also, uh, later this week, I'm going to take you to one of our favorite places in Nashville. It's called Cheekwood. It's absolutely beautiful. I think you guys are going to love it. And there's always all kinds of crazy shenanigans going on when the boys are here, right? It's going to be a lot of fun. So uh, let's get this day started. Hey, I'm Pete. And I'm Jordan. And we got married in 2020. I have three incredible boys, all between the ages of 15 and 20. And together, we have a baby girl who was added to the bunch in 2021. Our story is not a perfect one, as we've experienced some crazy ups and downs in life, but we feel so lucky to be where we are today. So we want to invite you along on our imperfect journey, as we make unforgettable memories, seek ways to love those around us, and experience the ins and outs of daily life with the Wilsons. What's up, guys? <laughs> Thanks for visiting, guys. This is the Wilson house. <laughs> You're in the couch every time, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh my god. <laughs> Wait, time out. Time out. In review of this, I want you to look at her head where he hit her. Weird. No, dude, don't, don't look, look. Right there. You can't. That is su uh, that's such a lie. You know she would have cried. <laughs> that is. Dude. Dude. Top of your hair? Look, much better. <laughs> oh, you nailed it. So I'm channeling my inner high school girl and um, making a sign for Pete's middle son, Gage, to ask a girl to prom. He came up with everything. I'm just writing it on the poster board so that he can hold it tomorrow when he takes off the blindfold and she sees the question. Do you remember being asked out for your prom? I didn't get asked to prom. I asked a boy older than me, so I had to ask because he wasn't in high school. Wow. Did you go to two proms? Um, no, I only went to my senior prom, too. And you asked? My high school kind of girlfriend-ish at the time. We were girlfriends slash friends. Okay. And you asked her? I did. And it wasn't near, like, all this stuff. I know. This is super cool. I mean, it was like, I just said, hey, do you want to go to prom? And she <laughs> said yes, and we did. Yeah, same. I mean, I, I, I think mine might have been a text message. Maybe. He was like, hey, you want to go to prom? I think, no, I think I asked him, like, hey, will you go to prom? Because he was my boyfriend. Oh, wait, wait, time out. You asked him? Yes. He... Nobody asked you to a prom <laughs> ever. My, Nobody asked her to a prom. My boyfriend at the time was two years older than me, so he didn't, he wasn't in oh, high school. Oh, so two he... years, shoot, two years older. Good morning. We have a super fun surprise for Miss Pepper this morning. Part of Gage, which is Pete's middle son, part of his um, prom ask for uh, the girl he's gonna ask to prom is to also have some baby ducks. That is part of what he's doing to ask her. He's gonna use some ducks. And so he brought them over last night and Pepper was asleep, so she missed the cute little surprise. So we kept them all night in a container that had food, water, bedding. We had heat lamps on them so that they were warm. And now we are going to show Pepper the ducks. And I don't know how she's gonna react. Pepper. Don't let her do this. Here, get your camera. I can't let her grab them because knowing Pepper, she would probably end one of their lives, so. Did your brother get ducks? What? What? <laughs> She's like, okay. I don't have any. Yeah, that's when she puts one in her. Pepper loves them, um, and do not worry, they are going to a sweet little farm home um, after today, so they will have a little loving house to go live at with all their duck friends. 
So we have the signs, we have our baby ducks. We're gonna go out to our farm. Um, the farm is about an hour from where we live, so we're gonna pack everything up and head out there and help set it up before Gage gets there. Um, that way all he has to do is show up and ask the fun question. Stones we carry, clothes we lived in, all the tales we will tell. All right, so we just made it to the farm. Here's the creek that runs through the farm. There's the little cabin. We're about to go set up the prom proposal. It is a beautiful day. This is gonna be so much fun. So extra. So I'm not sure if we've told you like all of Gage's plan. Probably not our plan to tell. So Gage's plan is he's gonna use like a couple baby goats. He's gonna use some baby ducks. He's got a really cool sign he's gonna put up. He's put it all out there. She says yes. All right, so I just got a text from uh, Gage and he's like 60 seconds away, so we got to get out of here before he gets here. All right, y'all, so that was close. We were setting up at the farm. Uh, Gage pulled up, so we had to bolt out of there, so sorry about that. We weren't supposed to be there when he got there. I know. And he got there earlier than we thought, so we literally ran, hid, and then pulled out before they could see us. Yep, so we went, we cleaned up, and now we are taking off to go to Cheekwood. Yeah, so Cheekwood is in Nashville. It's a botanical garden. At this time of year, they have something extra special and beautiful. I can't wait for you guys to see it. about all the flowers. These flowers are gorgeous. They really are. It's unbelievable. They're literally thousands of tulips thousands of what are they are they called buttercups daffodils I think i've always called them buttercups but technically i think they're daffodils they're gorgeous though this is mom trying to get the perfect picture these are so pretty this is definitely my color scheme of tulip so i know you guys cannot smell this obviously but oh my gosh I wish we could bottle this up it smells unbelievable you think that would be obvious but it was not obvious to me it's like yeah it's like sticking your face in a dozen roses <laughs> or a 250,000 so we are on a one and a half mile um, wooded sculpture trail so all throughout the trail there's pieces of art they're huge um, but it definitely makes a mile and a half a lot more entertaining so I totally thought these were planets I was saying it like loudly in front of lots of people here I think they're definitely not planets I think they're just different like pieces of granite and marble how many planets can you name Sun Earth Pl uh, Pluto is not a planet anymore. Jupiter, Venus, Uranus, Saturn, Mars, Mercury. Did I do it? I don't know. Everybody's got her own little table. Nothing like a little spinach, zucchini, and peas at the gardens, mm, right? Spinach, mm. zucchini, and peas. Say ah, mmm, yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> So I just found the coolest fireplace ever. One of my favorite things about spring in Nashville 
it's just how fast it comes. Like weeks ago, we had snow and here we are today and it's 70 something degrees, the sun's out and the flowers are blooming. It reminds me a lot of these six words that I've clung on to in difficult seasons in my life. And the six words are, at any moment, it can change. At any moment, it can change. That simple sentence communicates so much hope to me, right? At any moment, it can change. Because we really don't know what today holds. That's what makes it an adventure, right? Hope reminds us that just because something has been a certain way for a while, it doesn't mean that it's always going to be that way. Hope assures us that tomorrow can be better than today. I know that life can be exhausting sometimes. I know that some of you right now, you just feel so stuck. You're in a season that you just never thought you'd be at, and you, more than anything else, just want to be out of it. It feels like the darkness will never lift, but at any moment, it can change. So where do you start? Well, you've probably figured out like me that you can't force a new season, right? You can't just snap your fingers and all of a sudden it's spring and new beginnings. As you know, like spring comes when it comes. But I have found that the work of getting where you really wanna be, ironically often begins with you first accepting where you're at right now. Even if it's a season that you really don't wanna be in. Accepting where you are on the journey isn't always easy, is it? Especially when you're not where you want to be. But that doesn't mean that you're behind in life. You're exactly where you need to be. Go at your pace. And suddenly you just know it's time to start something new. It's time to trust the magic of new beginnings. And there comes a day where you realize that turning the page is the best feeling in the world because there's so much more to this book than the page that you've been stuck on. At any moment, it can change. At any moment, it can all change. This place is just so beautiful. There's that 1930s mansion that you can tour. It's also a museum. And then you have over 55 acres of gardens and 250,000 tulips and daffodils and all kinds of flowers. The trees are blooming. It is just absolutely gorgeous. I'm so glad we came. It only happens a couple weeks out of the year with these flowers, so we'll have to make it a tradition for sure. Hey, girl. Hey. Yay. Good job. <laughs> Headed back to the car. Headed back. So we've had an amazing day at Cheekwood. It's been awesome. We are exhausted. Pepper is exhausted. She's been fantastic, but it's time to call it a night. It's been awesome. All right, we made it home just before dark uh, to get dinner started on the grill. Pepper is wiped out. She's done. Jordan's putting her down right now. I'm gonna grill out for the boys. Hopefully we're gonna get in the hot tub, hang out a little bit tonight. Uh, my heart is so full. I love it when our house is full of the entire family. It's just a blast. Thanks so much for going on our adventures with us this weekend. We hope you had fun. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because we have plenty more adventures coming your way real soon.